Peter Thomas, if the IRS would null and void a debt because they received an apology, <laughs> a sweetheart, we would all be apologizing. The IRS want their coin. So Peter Thomas, let's keep him in our prayers again. Uh, this is the third time he's been on the prayer list pertaining to financial woes. So Peter Thomas is facing five years in prison over unpaid taxes. Now, Peter is an habitual offender, okay, when it comes to finances. Um, just as I said last time, Cynthia, my girl, you made it out of this marriage just in time. You made it out in the nick of time. She is blessed because Peter went into that marriage with both hands open and left with them closed tightly, okay? Owen sent you quite a bit of coin, $170,000 to be exact. Remember, uh, Cynthia and Peter started off as business partners for Bar One, which was a nightclub he was supposed to open in Atlanta. Now, I don't think it ever opened. And in season six of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Cynthia had to relocate the bailing agency and Bar One due to a foreclosure. Now, the plan was for Peter to move Bar One to another spot, but he needed the $170,000 from Cynthia, which she had given him. Now, and her mother and sisters was pissed because two months in the marriage, he's already borrowing money. And that's the reason why Peter and Cynthia's sister always bumped heads. Now, and I believe that Cynthia held some resentment towards Peter due to his constant borrowing, okay, his financial reliance on her, and that became draining for her. And despite her efforts to support Peter, he just made the mistake after mistake after mistake, and he just never learned. Every year, he was accumulating some kind of debt that he owed and he was being sued for. Um, you got, you know, he was giving his employees fake checks that bounced. Okay. And sometimes he wasn't paying them at all. Not to mention the earlier this year, he was just sued for 9 million for uh, a bar in Miami. So yeah, Peter is an habitual offender and let's keep him in our prayers, but let's get back to the issue at hand, which is Peter could be facing five years in prison due to unpaid taxes and he's apologizing to the IRS as if that is going to alleviate the debt. Now, Peter, are you apologizing because you're truly sorry because you apologized before and usually apologies are usually accompanied with changed behavior, which we have yet to see, Peter. And Peter may be a great guy. Why else would Cynthia marry the man? Um, but his business practices are very shady. I honestly do not want to see Peter in jail. I hope they can work out a payment plan. I don't know where the money's going to come from, but I, I don't want to see the man in jail. And I don't want to see people thrown in jail over money unless it's mine and you owe me. <laughs> then maybe. <laughs> a couple of days ago, Peter issued a public apology. Okay. He tried to get a handle on his scandal. Okay, he threw his own self under the bus before the bloggers did. And kudos to Peter for, you know, um, stepping up, being responsible, holding himself accountable. Um, So he threw himself under the bus from failure to pay taxes. So court documents obtained by In Touch reveals that Peter Thomas collected over $640,000 in trust fund taxes from employees' wages between 2017 and 2022, but he never submitted it to the IRS. Hmm. He also faced similar issues with his bars in Miami Beach and Baltimore, collecting 1.1 million between 2021 and 2023. Peter Thomas used the money for personal expenses, okay, including withdrawals, travel, real estate purchases, retail expenses, his remorseful statement on social media reflects his acknowledgement of wrongdoing and commitment to making amends. So in quotes, uh, Peter said, I've done some wrong that I have to make right. I have to stand up. I have to be accountable. I have to be responsible and I have to pay my debt. Kudos to Peter. And I, let's hope that he takes 
whatever stages that are necessary to rectify the situation. Um, I hope he don't have to go to jail. I hope he learned from his mistakes. And I hope he doesn't repeat more scandal involving finances here going forward. And do you guys think that Peter's apology was sincere? Is he really sorry for the scandal? Or is he just sorry that he got caught? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. But before I go, just in case some of you did not hear Peter's public apology, I'm going to insert that as well. Uh, including Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc., etc., etc. All right, I'm here to make a statement. Uh, my attorney and I have been working on a case for the last two and a half years now, and that it came in on where I'm putting out this statement. Um, I must have to apologize to my mom, my dad that's passed, and my kids, my friends, immediate family members, and anybody out there that checked for me. I did some wrong that I have to make right. I have to stand up, I have to be accountable, I have to be responsible, and I have to pay my debt. Um, for two and a half years ago, the IRS started a case um, that went back 10 years and a show that from struggling business, from one struggling business to the next and the next, um, that I'd failed to pay my withholding taxes on time. And at some point when the business wasn't doing well, failed to pay at all. And there's something that I thought I could work out, catch up with, uh, make hold. Um, but the, the hole got deeper for me. So I deeply regret Deeply, and I'm saying this with all sincerity, I deeply regret not to make the IRS withholding tax a priority in my life uh, with no excuses because there is none. It's the law. Um, I'm finding out a lot about that law lately and what I need to say to all business owners out there. Uh, if you're starting out a business, Make sure that you're funded enough to cover your payroll after you pay your rent and you pay your utilities and you pay uh, your vendors, you know, uh, make sure that you can cover those uh, withholding taxes and make sure on the 20th of every month you pay those revenue taxes because when those things add up, Uncle Sam is your partner and they're not getting their piece. And keep on adding it up, it's gonna come and it's gonna bite you like it's biting me now, okay? So I deeply regret, okay, not paying uh, my withholding taxes in a timely manner or in any manner that would put me in the, the, the place where I am now. And, uh, but I'm gonna be accountable, I'm gonna be responsible, and I'm gonna pay my debt, okay? Because that's the agreement. And that's the way it is, okay? Um, thank you for the time. I'll be talking about this some more, probably. Okay, but I'm quite sure when it comes out, because y'all like to put me in the shade room and all those other places, I'm quite sure it's gonna be all over the place because I am Peter Anthony Thomas, okay? Again, I apologize to the United States government who gave me such a a wonderful opportunity to express myself and build these business. And I let uh, them down, I let myself down, I let my family down, and I'm going to make amends. Okay, thank you.